so before the changes were made, um, as a social worker in the um, community mental health team, um, our job role was very much similar to that of a community psychiatric nurse. So we would both be doing exactly the same jobs as care coordinators. Um, so that would involve using the health system um, to record all of our notes and, and to do our risk assessments and, and uh, other assessments. Um, and it was a very medically focused role. Um, so we were liaising with the, the psychiatrists and the nurses on the team. It did feel very much that our social care skills and skills as social workers in working under different frameworks, like the Care Act, for example, was not uh, paramount in what we were doing. And that now, after the changes, has shifted. So we've managed to retain the skills that we'd learnt through being very uh, involved in the medical side of things, which I think is, is a really important skill and shouldn't be um, you know, dismissed in any way, not that it is, but um, not many social workers have got that, that amount of medical knowledge. Um, but now we've got um, sort of care act assessments that we're doing, which, which is brilliant because we're getting to work within that framework as well. The interaction between those two systems also has been quite a complex thing to try to um, get an understanding of. Um, but I think that we're getting there and I think that remaining integrated keeps the balance that we need of the medical and the social aspects to the job. And I think that that's much more positive than if we as social care staff and social workers no longer worked in, in the community mental health team physically but we're located somewhere else and just doing the social care tasks. So working in an integrated model under a Section 75 agreement, which has been my experience, what we've found is that um, relationships are ab absolutely key, really, with our health, par with our health partners. Um, and I think that has been the, the improvement in those relationships. Um, has been the catalyst in um, enabling some of these changes to happen. Some of them we've been able to do on our own, but some of them we've needed um, support from our health trust colleagues, really, out the senior managers in, in the trust. And, and, that, and that relationship's going really well. Um, and all the changes that we've made or that we want to make, what we do is we discuss those um, and look at what is it that we can put into enabling those changes, but also what we require from our health trust partners as well, who have been very reciprocal in wanting to make things much better for the team and the service that we offer and obviously the outcomes for the service users that we work with ultimately. And, and for me, it's about making the job as enjoyable and as easy as possible for the staff, which in turn will um, produce the outcomes that we need for the service users and for the people in our borough, really. Um, so I see this team as my responsibility um, and my job is to improve things as much as possible so that these people can come to work every day and do the best job that they can do and remain well and in work and you know enjoy enjoy the the, the role and enjoy the fact that they're these really specialist professionals. But one of the things that became clear straight away was that the requirements of our managers um, in terms of the spans of control that they had was completely unrealistic. So we had um, two managers managing 25 members of staff each and um, that, that just isn't feasible really. We met with the trust and agreed with them that um, we would put more managers in place so we contributed another manager and the trust did the same. All the changes that we've made um, I've done with without um, any extra money. I've just used the budget that I've got creatively. So we've we've now got sort of a management team um, within the CMHT um, who all support each other and work really well together. 
and that impacts on the staff, as Sam alluded to. Um, we've now got social work managers managing social work staff and trust managers managing trust staff which works much, much better. When I first started working for the community mental health team, it was one big team. Um, and now we're split into four neighbourhood teams, um, which has improved dynamics between um, um, me and my colleagues, really, because we now have um, three social workers, three community psychiatric nurses. We're all care coordinators, but we all have different skills. Um, and... Our area is particularly challenging given that we have a lot of homeless hostels and probation um, hostels, um, so we have a, a quite high transient population. So it's been challenging to get to grips with that. One of the challenges alongside that of, of separating into neighbourhood teams um, was that we had to move physically within the office, but it was quite a big upheaval. And then the people that you were used to sort of relying on for peer support and peer supervision, which happens a lot, you weren't sat next to those people anymore, so you had to create new relationships with the people that you've been put into neighbourhood teams with. It's, it's worked out really well that people have kind of settled into their little groups um, and it feels more more manageable, more tighter, um, that, that we, we know each other's service users. So if, I, if I'm off sick, I know that somebody knows who I'm looking after, who, you know... Um, and we'll be able to contact them and it's not just somebody out of the blue. It hasn't all been completely smooth sailing. There have been lots of challenges. Um, some of the simplest of things have been really difficult to achieve just because of the bureaucracy, the working across two organisations. Um, so some of it's been difficult. Um, but, you know, we, we just have, have tried to keep going, really. But I do feel, on the whole, it's much better than it was. Um, and it's so, you know, it's a really good place to work. And, and they're really, really experienced and very skilled people to work with. I think it's a better experience for the users of the service as well, most importantly. <laughs>